This video provides a brief overview of the process of submitting a homework assignment through the Canvas Code plugin. Before we go into the demo, let's take a quick look at some of the features and benefits of the Canvas Code plugin. Code supports different kinds of programming languages. Currently, it supports both C++ and Java. It integrates with Canvas and uses its authentication mechanisms to lock students automatically into the plugin. When student submissions are received, they are automatically compiled, style checked, and tested. And all of these operations run in independent Docker containers for imp improved security and quick response. Code automates functional testing. Uh, the instructor typically configures the tests that the students are expected to pass. Code also permits graders and instructors to annotate the source code and provide feedback to students for improving their programming skills. Some of the key benefits of code for students includes that it maintains a familiar environment uh, that is already familiar to the students. Code ensures consistent and valid submissions, so when student submissions are received, it compiles and tests them, so students automatically get immediate feedback as to whether their submissions were successful. Code improves the quality of solutions submitted by students by running style checkers on the submitted code. Style checking is an important aspect and is expected in almost all industry jobs. Code currently enforces CSE department style guidelines using a relaxed version of Google's style checkers. Code minimizes testing overheads for students. Uh, each time the solution is submitted, it repeats all of the tests so that students know if all of the tests are being consistently passed. And of course, code eases viewing feedback and annotations on their source codes provided by their instructors. Here are a few things to keep in mind before you submit solutions via code. First, ensure that your instructor is indeed using the code plugin for the assignment. Instructors may or may not use code for a specific assignment. Next, ensure that you have followed all of the necessary procedures stipulated in the assignment document. So typically, instructors will require that your program at least compiles. Some of the instructors will require that your program should not have any style errors. And of course, instructors may require programs to pass some or all of the tests before you can submit your program. Submissions uh, received by code are graded on a first-come, first-served basis. It'll typically take about 10 to 20 seconds to get results back from code, so you need to wait for about 20 seconds. And of course, once all of the code processing has been done, code generates a URL for you to return, submit uh, as part of your assignment. So ensure that you actually submit the URL from code, otherwise your submission will not be complete and you will not get points for that homework. Now let's take a brief look at the, how the code plugin works through a demo. Uh, this demo has two parts. First uh, is an incorrect solution intentionally to show how code looks uh, when an incorrect solution is submitted. And the second part includes a correct solution so you know how a successful solution through code operates. Here I already have a simple assignment that has been set up and uh, the um, instructor has set up this assignment. I'm going to submit the solution via code. So you click the submit assignment button. Notice that there is an upload via code tab on that specific page. Click on that tab. Now the Cloud plugin loads and it'll show you all of the um, basic requirements for this homework where this code is supposed to, uh, program is supposed to compile with zero compiler errors with zero warnings and should have no style errors. The instructor has set up two uh, tests and both the tests must pass in order to complete a successful submission. So now here I'm going to make uh, initially an incorrect submission just to show how the code plugin works when that happens. So select the file that you want to upload. You could select multiple files here if necessary for this submission. And click on the Start Auto Grading button. Here, upon clicking this button, the file is submitted to code and code starts working on the submission. 
Notice that there is a refresh timer that runs on the top corner of this box, shows when the page is refreshed. Here, the grading was done in about 7 seconds. There were no compiler error messages. If there are any compiler errors, you'll see it here. Here there was a style error. There was a copy rate that's missing um, on that program. Now let's look at some of the tests. These are the tests that were configured by your instructor. So there's a base case that was required to pass and it did not pass. So if you wanted to see the um, errors or highlighted errors, it might be easier to hide the inputs to the program and also look at the diff type to be inline. So you will see all of the error messages in your program where the expected line is welcome, but in this case the program written welcome followed by like four dashes. This is an contrived example to illustrate how the error output looks so you'll see those dashes there. Ideally a correct program will not have those. So in case of errors and such you will see that your program, this specific program, did not meet the minimum submission requirements. So I would have to start a new submission in order to actually successfully complete this homework assignment. So I'm going to start a new submission. This will take me back to the um, submission page. Here I'm going to choose a correct program that I know that passes the requirements here. So I, I'm selecting the correct program and I'm going to start the auto grading process again. So now again code starts working on the new submission and notice that there is a timer that's running and periodically this page will refresh. You do not have to wait for this page to refresh. You can always come back and look at the results. In this case all of these tests and everything pass successfully. Um, you can always drill into these tests and look at the actual expected output and the program output um, and such for each of these test cases if you would like to. And once this is done, I'm going to accept this submission. When clicking this accept the submission button, you'll be basically taken back to finish the submission in Canvas. This is an important step. Do not forget this step because if you do not submit the assignment, you will not get grades with this assignment. So I'm going to type any message I wanted to share with the uh, and click the Submit Assignment button. And this finally completes the actual submission process. Of course, you can always look at the submission details um, if you want to look at that. And that'll basically pull you back and show you the information about the submission that you have completed in the past. Of course, you'll be able to see all of the test cases, the actual solution that you've uploaded, etc. And this is how you use the Canvas plugin to perform different submissions for homework assignments and lab exercises as requested by your instructor. That completed the demonstration of the code plugin. And now in summary, code has been designed to facilitate teaching and learning programming. It is designed to facilitate and ease students' life in, and produce high-quality solutions by students. It does take a few times to use it, and once you use it a few times, you'll become familiar with the tool and its various options. Code is also designed for additional feedback from the instructor. Uh, you will be able to view the feedback from the instructor like you normally do on Canvas. Of course, you'll have to wait for your instructor to finish the grading process and release the scores and grades before you'll be able to see the feedback from your instructor. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope that the code plugin will help you transform and advance your coding skills to become an expert programmer in any programming language that you're working in.